Okay, so how do you create and schedule in your calendar from GoodNotes? So as you can see, this is GoodNotes that I've got open here and I've created a split screen with, this is my Apple calendar and then I'm gonna show you my Google calendar in a second. But basically you've put down what you've got going on here. Um, I'm actually going to take the time out because what you can do is you can you can put it anywhere you want on the day. Right. So next week on the 15th, let's put, let's see if this works, budget review at three o'clock. See the plus sign comes up? Let's just say it was 3.30. See how when you drag it down, it shows you 3.15, 3.30, 3.45. Budgets review, budgets review, 3.30. I love it. So now if I wanted to put an appointment in at 6, just say I wanted to put this strategy review in. Then I select it and I'm going to actually... Grab that again. I don't want all those other bits. Yep, that's it there. Press and hold. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to drag it to six. Where do I want to put it? Let's put it at seven. Strategy review. See how it's interpreted very good. It's at seven o'clock. I'm very happy with that. And it will interpret your writing really, really well. So that's how you do it with the Apple Calendar. And so now let's let's do the Google. To close a split view, you just go to the three dots and then you press close. You'll be back in your original document. So this is actually a portrait planner, but I'm just recording landscape right now. So that's the reason why I'm, I'm using it this way. Now, if you want to um, bring up your Google Calendar so you can settle your um, schedule everything, you just create the split view. It asks you to select what you want. I actually want my calendar. So it's going to open that up for me. I'm going to go to, so on Saturday, I want to book some of these things in on Saturday. Now with um, Google, it's a little bit different. You have to go into the event view. This is the day view and in um, Apple Calendar, the day view like this, it works, but it won't work here. I'll show you. If I, if I press and get that, see how you can't, it doesn't work. If you do the press, and it brings up the actual event that you're wanting to schedule. Now, we have to, now, if we drag this over to there, you can see budgets review. And I couldn't see it because of my hand, but there, there would have been a green plus. Let's just see, um, we wanted it at 3 p.m. So we're just going to move that to 3 p.m. And we're gonna save it. And there it is. Let's do it once more with the meeting with Erica and let's put it at 12.30. Let's just, for the sake of it, press it until you get that. Oh, it won't work, sorry. We add an event, it brings it up. You want to select it, press it until you get that. Now, you see that plus sign? Yeah, it keeps interpreting my writing this way, which is absolutely fine. You just pull up your keyboard, however you're doing your keyboard, and do it that way. And then you can set your time. I think we said we're gonna make it for 12.30. Save. So, once you know how this interface works, you can then create the sort of writing here that works over there.